Hey guys, hello, 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 and welcome to the channel. Today, what I'm going to talk about is I'm going to give a 60 day update on my keto journey, on my journey towards health and well being that I am doing through keto. How does that sound? Does that sound better? Good. So, first of all, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, hit subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so that you'll get notifications. Uh, the channel, every other weekend, I talk about lots of different things that are pertinent, especially to single moms. One thing I talk about a lot are side gigs and how to get some extra money in your pocket, as well as other life hacks and other things that I have uh, tried and things that are working for me that I like to share. So right now I'm gonna talk about keto. For those of you all, if you have not seen my video um, <laughs> when I started keto, um, I'm going to hope oh, it's in the playlist so you can take a look at that I did a keto kickoff and then I did a 30 day update now it is 60 days into my keto journey and I'm going to give you some numbers I am down 21 pounds which is good I'm very very happy with that and let me tell y'all I'm gonna do some confessions just call me usher because here's what I need you to know I have not been totally and completely faithful I have not to the keto lifestyle I have um, turned it from keto to Cheeto in some instances um, and I'm not proud of that however I'm glad that I was still able to lose the weight and um, <laughs> even though I have not been 100% strict and that's good because that's what I wanted to do I wanted to do something that um, was sustainable not something that was so strict and so tight that I would not be able to do anything but I will say this had I had stuck with everything really really strict I'd be down oh who knows I'd be down 50 60 pounds okay maybe not but I'm happy with what I've done in the way that I've done it and also I would say more over than the weight loss which is great in and of itself I'm happy about that um, I can I'm much less bloated I am also I feel a lot better and it's so true where you like you don't know how bad you feel until you start to come out of it but um, I can I sleep better I'm exercising so things are much much better and so let me just go through kind of how I have decided to do keto now in my last video I talked about how I'm doing kind of the lazy keto and I'm not really tracking a whole lot and at the 30 day mark I you know I was seeing some some progress but not a lot I just couldn't see it it was not just pounds but I, I just wasn't seeing it so what I decided to do was to to kind of do some more tracking now I haven't tracked like totally I'm like God, now I'm tracking the, the macros and the micros and the my what no 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 I'm still not doing that but I still try to stay under 20 grams of carbs per day and um, I did for maybe a week or two do the um, my fitness pal the food jour journal and it was helpful probably should do more of that so maybe for the next 30 days that's something I'll add to my regimen uh, and speaking of things that have been added to the regimen let's rewind from the 30 day to the 60 day mark I have started exercising on a consistent basis and um, just by the nature of where I work I'm off for the summer so I have been getting up maybe about five six and doing walking a couple miles between two and four miles a day so that's also helpful as well so on a daily basis what have I been eating so first of all I get up especially when I go walking I'll drink some water um, then I will go for my little walk doo -doo 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 -doo. then I'll have some coffee and I have some sugar-free syrup that I put in the coffee and some heavy whipping cream and a little bit of unsweetened almond milk so I have that okay doo -doo -doo. and then I'm good for until about maybe 11 
then, um, especially with the kids off in the summertime, it makes it a little bit more challenging. In fact, they've been gone for the last couple of days, so my eating has been on point because they're not here and asking and I'm not fixing things that um, two sets of meals. Now, I tell you what, here's the real bottom line. At some point, the kids just going to have to go keto too. It's going to be keto for kids because I'm not cooking two different types of meals. But um, what I've been doing for lunch, if I go and get them some lunch, if I'm out, um, we know that fast food, unfortunately, is a big part of our lifestyle. Um, I've cut back on that a whole lot. But if I do go out um, to any of the places, I will get a hamburger, no bun, and what else and that's usually it and I'm good and then at night I will have some type of protein in a salad or something like that and I eat more than that so don't, don't you know you're like oh she's only eating 12 calories no wonder she's losing weight I, 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 I eat and I graze but I'm just very mindful about what I consume which is a lot different from before so that's it guys that is my 60 day check in and what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to put up a uh, side by side screenshot let's see if I can make this happen uh, at the end so that you can see if you can see a difference or tell a difference between um, my face 60 days ago and now uh, and it just depends because sometimes some angles I'm like mm, look at this look what I have discovered I have discovered my chin and it looks like it has you know for the most part it's alone it doesn't have three friends with it I, I'm the next expedition I am looking for my collarbone that is the next step so that will be hopefully in the 90 day update something that I'll be able to be able to be happy to report so that's it guys um, if you have any questions about keto put them down in the comments I'm happy to answer based on what I know which is not a lot but I'm a novice and there's tons of information out there also if you are interested in learning how to make some additional income I've got a free ebook that you can get down below as well and it's called the single mom's guide to side gigs so if you have any questions about that also comment down below and if tell me if you have tried keto if you know anyone who's tried keto and kind of what your thoughts are about it because I will tell you when my friend told me at first that she was like oh I'm not eating carbs is like I thought it was the craziest stuff I had ever heard of in my life but it works and it's healthy I went to the doctor and I don't think I've, I've uh, updated you guys since this but I went to the doctor the doctor was so surprised she said what well, you've lost since the last time you've been here you've lost 26 pounds since January I said oh mm -hmm. she said are you trying to lose weight I said yes and <laughs> she was happy because she was about to run a whole new battery of tests because I didn't you know I wasn't bragging like oh look at this is what I've done I just told her I'd cut back on some carbs so that that's all so that's it guys I hope you have a great afternoon and see you next time bye